Hey, I was going all just back in with another sequence video. This one is in um, Enoch 46 to 49. And so this is a pretty like explicit, you know, reference of it. There's really no coded language at all. It's amazing. And so um, starting in uh, Enoch 46, verse three, he, and he answered and said unto me, this is the son of man who has righteousness with whom dwells righteousness and, all, and who reveals all the treasures of what is hidden because the Lord of spirits has chosen him and whose lot has the preeminence before the Lord of spirits in uprightness forever. And so this is a bit of a coded reference to the chosen, but it's referring here to Christ. But this is a reference to Christ appearing, you know, in the sky, the son of man and the chosen. And so, um, and whose lot has the preeminence before the Lord of spirits in uprightness forever. And so this is the always the first thing that begins, you know, the sequence is Christ appearing and then a reference to the chosen or his elect. And then now we have a time of the great tribulation. And this is not a coincidence in verse six. Okay. And he will put down the countenance of the strong and will fill them with shame. And darkness will be their dwelling and worms will be their bed. And they will have no hope of rising from their beds because they do not extol the name of the Lord of spirits, the most high. And so literally one of the plagues in Revelation 16 is darkness, you know, falling upon America, which is the seat of the beast. And so, and darkness will be their dwelling. So that's part of the plagues in Revelation 16 and raise their hands against the Most High, and tread upon the earth and dwell upon it, and all their deeds manifest unrighteousness. All of their deeds manifest unrighteousness. And their power rests upon their riches, and their faith is in the gods which they have made with their hands, and they deny the name of the Lord of Spirits. Okay, so they will only worship things that they can make, you know, rockets or, you know, uh, medicine. We see all that now. So um, that's their gods, God's left-hand side. And their faith is in the gods which they have made with their hands. And they deny the name of the Lord of Spirits. And they persecute the houses of his congregations and the faithful who hang upon the name of the Lord of the Spirits. So um, we again here have a persecution. And this is literal. I want people to understand that. And they persecute the houses of his congregation. So they're literally going to be knocking on people's doors. And we know for what reason. And so, you know, this again is the time of the Great Tribulation. So now we have a reference in forty-eight, chapter 48 to Christ returning with his elect after the Great Tribulation. Starting in verse 8, and I will give them over into the hands of mine elect as straw in the fire, so they will burn before the face of the holy. And so Christ will return with his elect in these so called UFOs, and they're able to destroy. And that fire is going to destroy body and soul of God's entire left hand side. As lead in the water will they sink before the face of the righteous, and no trace of them will be any more be found. No trace. They're going to be deleted. They're not reborn, you know, and all that reincarnated or whatever people teach. Um, and no trace of them will be any will any more be found. And on the day of their affliction, there will be rest on the earth. God's going to destroy those who destroy the earth. Finally, the earth will be at rest. And on the day of their affliction, there will be rest on the earth. And before them, they will fall and not rise again. And there will be no one to take them with his hands and raise them, for they have denied the Lord of Spirits and is anointed. The name of the Lord of Spirits be blessed. Okay. And so now in chapter 49, we have a reference to the kingdom. For wisdom is poured out like water and glory fails not before him forevermore. Okay. And so this is the kingdom, which is going to be established here on earth. And so it's amazing. You know, so uh, Enoch um, spanning from 46 to 49 reaffirmed the sequence perfectly. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.